So circle and square then really um, gave you a standard of excellence? Yeah, the other added part to it was this. We had a dramatic movement coach, mm -hmm. Mark Epstein. He had been taught by Marcel Marceau. Wow. And Mark had established a, a mime troupe of his own that did only medieval mime in full costume. This man comes and asks me if I wanted to join his troupe. Now, it was so interesting because the first day that Mark worked us out, I damn near died. Hmm. I mean, I literally, I had to leave and be sick. It, it, it was, it, 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 uh, so I don't know what he saw. <laughs> and so I joined his troop. That was heaven. Because I learned, you know, a simple thing, like a, one of the last things. We, we had to learn how to, he tells us to walk. Walk. And then we had to break down piece by piece of what happened in making a step. Hmm. So that you broke it down, 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 down to, oh, the foot goes, this muscle goes, da, da, da. and once we had broken it down, which takes ages, then we had to recreate it in real time, but conscious of every breakdown movement. Mm. And that's what makes you flow. And, 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 we, and th these mines were always done in a church, and they always started at the back mm -hmm. and moved up the center to the nave to this, and, and finished there in, in the tableau. And you're tableauing all the way down. Mm -hmm. oh, here. So, yeah, that was part of that mm. whole experience. The other part was that I became friends with a, a classmate. We often worked together, uh, and he had been a student at Berghoff, and he had paid for his next sessions, but he didn't want to go back. He came to a circle. So he asked me if I wanted to take his place in those classes, and I did. So that's where I met uh, Uta.